part of the development group, agreed to do <coughs> upgrades to the existing well, the H, what they call the H and 4 n well, whatever that is, um, and to agree to build an additional well. That work has started. Uh, the Sycamore Vista Master Homeowners Association obligation in phase one is $350,000. Uh, the first half installment of that has been paid by the master. As you can tell, I mean, if you look at the budgets, you can see they don't have that kind of money. So the majority uh, uh, lot holder group, which is empty properties, um, lent the money to Sycamore Vista to do the upgrading of the well and anticipates that its obligation over the next five years would be roughly $1,150,000, which they will advance. Now, the master HOA will collect that back over time from the HOAs. Um, and so each of the HOAs already makes some payments to the master. Those payments from the HOAs will probably increase over the next uh, five years. Um, and they will also um, require that uh, the developers make payments to that HOA to those, uh, uh, those payments. So that work is progressing from what I understand and it's supposed to be completed, it was supposed to be done May 1st and uh, it's not. Um, they had, a, I guess, some of the equipment um, fell over accidentally, didn't hurt anybody but delayed the project two weeks. So that um, upgrade to the uh, existing well is right now is slated to be done by uh, May 15th. The city of Tucson, of course, is doing all of the um, all of the work on that. So that's an update on where we are. Go ahead. If you have questions, anytime. Go ahead. Just where are the wells located? I have no idea. <laughs> all, I, well, the only thing that I know for certain is that the water main that was part of the original agreement that was going to be extended is six miles from here. Uh, and when everybody looked at the cost of extending that, that was going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five million dollars. And so it turned out to be a better arrangement. So there was an amendment to the existing agreement to not build the water main through at this point, but to just upgrade the existing wells. Uh, and actually agree to drill another well, but that's probably three years down the road or another well. Depending on how many homes get, it's all, it's all about how many rooftops there are that get created in this area. And so with the upgrade of the well, how many more rooftops? What are we talking about? Um, the upgrade of the well uh, it allows um, Sycamore Vista, I believe, to have an additional, I, I think the number is roughly 600 rooftops. On top of the 200 that we had last year? No, the 200 were used up. Um, if, if you look at the map back there, the um, Unit 2, which was undeveloped, is pretty much completed now. Uh, there are very few lots left in Unit 2 that aren't built. Um, they were saying, I, I'm not sure I understand all of what, they're, what the uh, water people are talking about when they talk about it, but they were saying that we were down to 30 uh, water connections left in all of Sycamore District um, without this agreement. Um, a sum total of, for all six of the developers, a sum total of 150. Um, and so that's why the agreement came into place to increase that. Um, right now, if all of the work is done, it will um, accommodate all of the rooftops for all the developers in all six of the properties. So um, that means and that's like, the lots are open up then for development. It's like 3,000. They're, they're open immediately. Right now, they're open again. And that's why five is, five is moving forward. Um, 5.1 is being developed by Horton right now. Um, Richmond American should be in escrow tomorrow um, on additional lots in 5.2. So there are enough water connections the city of Tucson is making them available to all the developers. I really can't tell you how the other six are doing because I mean, I don't follow how um, Ocotillo Preserve or Soil Crest or any of those or Sycamore Creek is doing. Uh, I'm assuming there's development going on there also. Okay. How many, how many lots are you trying to buy in 5.1 and 5.2? 5.1, there were uh, currently 40 lots being developed in 5.1, in and there will be roughly 66 lots being developed in 5.2. And they're pretty much all Yeah, they're, well, they're all going to be developed, but uh, the National Home Builders in 5.1 are building on 40. Uh, and the National Home Builder in 5.2 would build on 66.
All right, uh, now is the election of officers. There's a slate that's been um, presented. Can I have a motion to adopt the slate? I'd like to uh, motion to adopt the slate as presented. All in favor say aye. aye. Okay, motion passes. Um, can we have a uh, ratification of acts that have been taken over the last year in regards to the um, master HOA? I would like to make a motion that we ratify the acts that have been taken over in 2000, 2015. I was thinking that. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, this is where we would get comment cards. As you know, we're, we're pretty in, you know pretty flexible. So if anybody has any comments at this point, ask questions or whatever. Otherwise, we'll move on from the master on to the other HOAs. Now. Are you on this water business? You thought we were sticking about the, the HOAs at the end, right? All the HOAs. Yeah, I, I, the, the water connections are for the entire community development. Now the other places like Sycamore. Creek, or I, I'm not sure what they, they have their own, their own contacts with the county and with the city to provide the water. Actually, Alfredo, the way I believe it works is this the city uh, controls whether a lot owner or a builder gets a meter. So you have to go down and you have to say, I want a meter. And then you have to pay for the meter. Yeah, yeah, and there's the only so many of those that are available. But when it comes to costs, though, the, the budget that you mentioned is strictly for Sycamore Vista. Well, no, the budget was for all of the all of those developers that were part of that agreement. Um, SRWA, Santa Rita Water Association, agreement, is who negotiated the deal with the city of Tucson. And then amongst those six, there was an allocation of water meters or connections to the communities to assure that the communities would get all of the water meters they needed to finish out the community. Yeah, but, but the budget you mentioned is strictly for something more this but Yeah, the, 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 the amounts that are being paid, uh, that will be paid over time, the, the 175000 that's been paid already and roughly 1150 that will be paid over time is only for the connections in Sycamore District. The total project is like three million four hundred eighty thousand dollars, something like that. Subject, of course, to whatever the city of Tucson tells you, the costs are when they actually get done. Do we have thirty-five uh, percent? We have roughly thirty-five percent of the total, yeah, uh, of all the connections that would be available uh, in, in this in this particular community. So thirty-five percent of the overall costs are what our share is. Okay. Any other question? No? Okay, um, we will move to Sycamore Vista number five, Homeowners Association. Um, before we get started, uh, call it to order, but we want to certify that we actually have a quorum of members. We do, okay. Um, I would introduce the board again, uh, except it's the same board, so I don't want to do it every time, it's the same management company. So. Uh, a move for the approval of the 2013 annual meeting I move. minutes. I second that. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Um, we have attached a budget. Um, I would move that we approve the uh, proposed 2014 budget for Sycamore Vista Number Five Homeowners Association. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, new business. Now, that for anybody who's here on five, I put some handouts out, um, and I think I have up here so everybody can kind of see when we talk about the community, what we mean by the community um, as a whole. Um, for those, I don't know if any, any of the eight people are here yet, but the original development with the prior uh, lot of you know developers would basically finish this portion of it. You did not finish this portion or this portion. Um, recently, two was finished out as far as the majority lot holder is, is concerned. If you see the white with the own lots, there are no own lots in two. The reason we're not having a meeting for two is those homeowners are now um, in control of that HOA and they, they meet when they want to and how they want to do it and they have their own board. Um, and the in like that. 
And so those notices go out. If you have a lot in two, you'll get a notice, but based on when their board wants to meet and where they want to meet and how they want to do that. We've now moved to five to develop, and that's the handouts for those who are in five. We've identified this as 5.1, and through here is 5.2. 5.1 was developed last year. Um, different than the prior ownership, um, what the decision was made was to have the HOA uh, borrow the money, and in this instance it borrowed the money from NT Properties, the majority lot owner, and actually finished the development before it took up doing assessments, so that there wouldn't be any guesswork. It would be, this is what it costs to finish it, these are the numbers, this was not a budget, this was an actual what we had spent. So in your handouts, for those in 5.1, it shows specifically the lots and what the lot ownership was at the time of the development. Um, the, the one thing that, um, happened in terms of developing it is that lot 297 was deemed unbuildable because the fire marshal decided that that space was needed for part of the turnaround for fire trucks. Um, but nevertheless, it was part of, it was owned by NT Properties at the time. Sycamore Vista Land for Sale had seven lots. Um, Creeling had one and uh, David Dario had one. The actual, the actual costs are attached as the next exhibit. So if there was an um, actual development cost of $792,077. That money was lent to the HOA so it could do the work that was done. That works out to $16,164.84 a lot. So now that the work is done, the, um, there is, as you see on the agenda, there is a proposed special assessment for those uh, lot owners who have lots in Sycamore Vista 5.1. Um, the prior ownership was limited somewhat because their CCNRs required them to spread that cost over all the lot owners. So if, even if you had a lot way up in the corner, if they only developed 5.1, they could charge you for doing the work in 5.1. We amended the CCNRs. That was, you would have, anybody in 5.1 would have seen the CCNR amendment that took place last year to allow targeted assessments so that only the lot owners that were benefiting from the improvements were assessed the cost. So 5.1 is a special assessment area. 5.1 was roughly 50 lots that were developed. So the proposed assessments, that's the, the final part of the handout. The final part of the handout is the number of lots that are owned. Now, uh, what the board felt was fair is even though 297 ended up being a unbuildable lot, it should be added into the assessment against NT properties um, that the other lot owner shouldn't have to share in that. So <laughs> counting, if you count the lots and the unbuildable, NT Properties had 40 lots, Sycamore Vista Land for Sale had seven lots, Creeling one and the Rodario one. Um, the total assessment number is identified in the, um, in the spreadsheet. I mean, the math is just 40 lots times 16. NT Properties share of that $646,593.60. Sycamore Vista will be asked to pay $113,000. Creeling, $16,164.84, and the Gregorio, $16,164.84. Those amounts, if the vote is to approve that proposed assessment, um, notices of that will go out tomorrow or the next day whenever Chapman can get around to sending it out saying this is your assessment. Um, they will be given 60 days to pay it, um, and if they don't pay it, then the HOA will leave the properties. Uh, in order to secure the payment of that. Um, so, for the uh, business here, we need a motion to approve the proposed assessment. I make a motion. What's the assessment? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. But you have a question, go right ahead. No, I just missed that last part. 
after the 60 or 90 days or whatever? After the 60 days is up. Okay. The HOA does what? The HOA will lien the property. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, there's a, uh, there was a previous discussion about a special assessment for legal fees. We are involved in litigation, as many of you from the last meeting may remember. Um, a lot holder has um, raised an issue as to whether the HOA was properly uh, constituted and whether it should or should not exist. And that litigation is moving forward. Um, we had discussed assessing, do I need to get louder? Okay. Okay, we had, we had discussed assessing each one of the lot owners $500 to collect enough to be able to pay legal fees. To date, the way legal fees are being handled by the HOA is they're being borrowed from, in, in, in this instance, from NT Properties as additional borrowings uh, to fund their legal expenses. Um, the, the difficulty with just doing a overall assessment against every property is that it really, regardless of the outcome of the litigation, I think in the lawyers' opinions, the lawyers who are representing the, the, the HOA, is gonna have little or no impact on people who have already got their lots developed and have already bought houses, because there are now people that are buying houses in that. So it would be inappropriate to ask them to pay into the litigation. Um, I don't know whether that's correct or it isn't correct. I mean, I understand the, the thinking behind that, which is you wouldn't want to assess somebody for legal expenses for a lawsuit that really isn't going to impact them in any way. Um, so um, what I think we would need to do under the special assessment uh, for legal fees is um, seek an opinion from counsel whether or not a uh, special assessment could be made against only the undeveloped lot holders um, and not really proceed with an assessment of legal fees until we get an opinion in regard to that. Now, I don't think that needs a motion, but I'd just like to make sure the board's okay with that. Um, and if that is the case, then we'll ask the management company to connect with the HOA attorney, not the attorney involved in the litigation, but the HOA attorney, to see if, in fact, a special assessment can be made only against the people who have um, undeveloped lots. If the HOA goes away, then the ability to develop it would be diminished, and so they would be the people who have an interest. Um, but many, many, if not all of them, are also involved in the litigation, and if they have separate counsel and they're paying for counsel, then we don't necessarily want the HOA to have to collect against them. So that's one of the things that will that I think we need to get a, a, some clarification from uh, counsel on. The undeveloped lots in all of the only two. I mean, only five. We're only talking about Sycamore Vista. Five. Number five. We're only talking about Sycamore Five. Are you, are you going to assess me for these for these fees? Well, I don't think we're assessing anybody right now. Well, are we, you thinking of assessing me? Until we get an opinion from council, we won't do anything. But if council, why do you even bring this up then? Why don't you just strike it and talk about it some other time? Um, well, I, I think we talk about it so everybody can hear what's going on. And to be clear, that we're going to ask council for direction, and whatever direction our council gives us is what we're going to go ahead and do. And that, that's against number five? Only against number five. There is no, currently there's no litigation challenging the HOAs in any other of the HOAs. That's only in number five. So if you're not part of five, then it really isn't happening. How does anyone besides you benefit from fighting this lawsuit? Why don't you just forget about it and let me prevail in the lawsuit? I mean, how how uh, is I mean, why you you seem to be the only one who's going to benefit from it? Well, I, I, I don't think that's the case, um, but I would say the HOA um, is developing lots, and those people who are getting their lots developed have lots that have more value. But we can't you sell them. We can't sell our lots unless you help us sell them to the builders. So how are we benefiting from this? We're stuck with these. I've got stuck with two lots in Unit 2. 
that I paid sixty thousand dollars for to get developed. My my understanding, if you want me to address that, is that lots are selling in Unit Two, and I've just talked to one for lot fifteen thousand dollars. I've just talked to one lot owner who's said that they've you know been asked to consider selling their lot for certainly something more than fifteen. So whether you sell or you not or you don't sell may be dependent on who you're talking to. The prior majority lot owners helped us sell our lots to builders. That was part of the deal. You know, it's unconscionable if, if we're going to pay for this if we can't sell them. Well, we're, we're and really not here to discuss the litigation, but I'm, I'm happy to do we that. We are after, here. That's what this I'm, thing's I'm about. Happy to do legal it after fees. After the meeting with you, uh, the litigation is going to move forward. Um, but that's, you know. That's okay, do you have any idea why there was a process server at my house today? Do you have any guess? No. You don't? No. Okay. Um, that's interesting. I'm just wondering it certainly if it's being served yes. on other cases. Oh, I don't um, see anything filed in the court against me, so, so I don't know what um, So anyhow, we, we, just so we're clear, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the HOA's attorney uh, whether or not it's, we can move forward with special assessments only on undeveloped lot owners uh, for purposes of collecting legal fees to pay um, to fight the, me. The litigation board. Well, essentially, it is to fight you. Yeah, why don't you tell them? Yeah, no, I, filed, I filed a lawsuit against and, them. And, and it's to fight you, let me be clear, because yeah. you paid $1,000 for seven lots and you've asked for 250000 No, that's I'm saying that those liens no, expired. That's, that's just not going to happen. They've expired. Okay. It's just not going to happen. You, you paid 1000 for the lots and you were in front of a judge and said, I want 250000 Look, it was fair. It was fair. That, that, that's just it was happen. fair up to the moment, but it's, just it's unconscionable now. You, I made you three different offers. And I've never gotten an offer on my unit five I made you three lots. $100,000 for 50 lots. You're such a rat. I you're the worst person to... I've ever met in my whole life, and I'm almost 60 years old. That's the well, honest truth, 60, so right that's, there. That's okay. I mean, I think so. The worst person age. in my whole life. All right. Uh, now's the time for election of officers. We have a slate. I'd like to move the election of officers. Uh, All in favor? Say aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay. Can I have a resolution ratifying the actions of the directors and officers? I'd like to uh, move some. All in favor? Aye. aye. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have anything on five? I know Raquel has a lot she wants to talk about, but we can do that after we want to keep you guys here. Um, is that it? Okay, let's move on. Sycamore visit oh, number seven. Yeah. Yeah. Last question. Oh, sorry. I used to be on the board. Good. Would you like to be on the board again? We'd be happy to have you. Well, how did I drop off? Because I, I don't know if I'm still on. That's, not, that's what well, I, you have, I wanted you, to find you, out. The election right now did not include you. I if know. you'd like to be on the board, we'll have a new vote and you can be on the okay. board. No, I just wonder what happened. Well, we in had the an election time. and we elected a new board, and so you're not oh, okay, on the board. Okay, because I wasn't around. And... Yeah. Oh. But if you'd like to be on the board, you can be on the board. I mean, Aldolfo's on ask, one of our ask boards. Ask me how much it pays. Yeah. So, <laughs> I know that it pays nothing. You're, you're, uh, we're happy to have you on the board <laughs> if you'd like to be. So. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah? If you'd like to be on the board, we okay. can, I mean, I'd like to be I think board. we could do it as a write-in, and yeah. since we have enough votes to put you on, I'm pretty sure my... We'll approve you. We'll approve you. Yeah. If you'd like to be on the board, well, you have to ask Sylvie. She's got to do it. Sylvie, can we uh, put them in as a write-in and take that vote now on election of officers? Yeah, if you're voting for them. <laughs> yeah, I will vote for them. So set it up so that uh, there's a ballot where I vote to add Steve. And we, all, we can never have too many Steve's. And we'll put Steve on. He'll be a director. Yeah. Be a director. Yeah. yeah. Is this the proper time to discuss the litigation in regards to the special assessment and the validity of the board ability to lay those assessments? Or do you want to do it after the meeting? Uh, we, can, we can do it probably after the meeting would be uh, better. I, mean, to well, risk it. I think that's what Raquel is. Yeah, that, that was an item on the agenda, and you're just little, steamrolling. The you know, litigation is the litigation. Um, and until the court rules, it's, there's not going to be any, really anything to talk about. It's is still pending the entire... Oh, yeah. There, yeah I, the expectation is it'll be a couple of years before there's a resolution. A couple of years? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, they haven't even started discovery yet, so, so it'll, it, it'll be two years. That's why a special assessment, if anybody did the math, a special assessment of $500 a lot works out to raising attorney's fees of $125,000. So 
I mean, our expectation is that that will be spent plus. Over I'm the to take the original assessment that had to do with the development of putting the utilities in the road. Um, the original assessment, um, that's in, in, in two, I mean in five, the original assessment is within the purview of the court to decide whether it's valid or not valid. And that's what we're going to talk about later. Yeah, I mean we can talk about it, but it's in the purview of the court as to whether it's valid or not valid. Do you feel it's a couple of years down the road? Before there's a resolution? Absolutely. I mean we're, we're, we're kind of prepared for a couple of years of litigation. Will that mean developing those lots? No. Not at all. The, lot, the lots are going to be developed anyhow, and they're going to be sold to the national government. Is it cloud on the title? There, there is no cloud on any title. I mean, all of the lots that NT Properties, the majority lot owner owns, are free and clear. And they will all, and they'll all be developed and they'll all be sold. Well, to I'm the just the Thanks for the check. Huh? Yeah. So they'll all, you know, they'll all be... They'll I all feel be, like you're on my side. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what sides we are, but... Um, the development of five is going to move forward. I mean, there's going to be sales to national home builders, hopefully, not good, but they still want to buy. Still going to be developed. And um, at, in regard to the assessments that have been placed on people who have assessments in five, um, I have been successful in getting those assessment holders to move the number down from 55,000, which is what goes out, you know, to as little as 12,500. Um, what Raquel hasn't told you is she was given the opportunity to pay those assessments at 12.5 instead of 55,000, and decided not to. If you so, help, if you help I, me I sell can, my I lots, can, I can probably work that out with anybody who has an assessment. Mm -hmm. Would be to take that number down with the assessment holder mm -hmm. to some significantly less, so that when the properties are developed uh, in, in, in five point one. If you take 12.5 and you take the 16 that it took to finish it, you get 28, and those lots off sold for 35. So people were able to make money if they wanted to. Um, but the arguments about how much money you should make yeah, are yeah. buying. I mean, lots unit five is, is, five is built up to some extent. They put up houses. 5.1, if you go out right now, if you went and looked at 5.1. Yeah, I have. D.R. Horton's building. D.R. Horton, in right. Five, five so, so actually, they already own some of these lots. They purchased all the lots in that, if you look at in it, 5. all 1? the lots that were NT property lots okay. were purchased. So those 40 They would have right. purchased right. Raquel's lots, but she wants too much money. So that's just a, you know, that's just a business decision. No, I don't want to pay those assessments because they're expired. She wants too much money for our money. We could argue about that all day, mm -hmm. but... They would have bought those, but they're not going to buy those. They would have bought your lot, and I would have negotiated if I could have gotten hold of you, but apparently every mail that I've ever sent to you has been returned because I didn't know where you were. Um, and well, the Creelings, now you do, so we can talk afterwards. Yeah, and the Creelings, they would have bought the Creelings lot. They're in Colorado. I did talk to them, and mom who owns it was dying, and they didn't really want to deal with it. All right. Um, and in 5.2, the same thing is true. I mean, if you look at 5.2, all of the lots there, um, the um, SAH Family Trust are selling their lots as part of the deal. PRD Investments are selling their lots. Um, and um, I think uh, Andy's is going to end up selling their lots. And those are uh, being negotiated. They're not part of the... 66 with Richmond right now, but okay. there should be another four lots that get sold. So in this case, Richmond American is the builder that, that, that owns the